Now, everybody knows you wash your face, you brush your teeth, you go to bre bed. You go to bread. You gotta make yourself a sandwich before you go to, bre or to bed. I sound like a douche. Hey there, people out of the YouTube universe. This is Mr. Vintage or Tacky here to tell you guys about men's skincare. On this week's Skincare Sunday, I am here to tell you guys about beard care for men and also some of the techniques I go through for washing my face and after washing my face and during the day stuff and at night. First things first, guys, wash your motherfucking face beard wool thing. Because it's gross. My barber recently told me that she had a guy come in and he smelled and hair on your face. Even if you use the shampoo from your head at first, wash it. It's not the hair as much as the skin. Because your skin is flaking off and you need to kind of scrub it off like you do with your scalp. Because you wouldn't leave that hair unwashed either. Or would you? Gross. Have food in there, maybe a little bit of spilled coffee or whatever you like to drink during the day, among other things, you know. Your skin's under there flaking off, it's being dead and stuff, and you're just you walk around smelling like a zombie, dude. You need to quit it. Get with your shit, wash your face. So without further ado, let's go to step one. To wash your damn face. For washing my damn face, I use First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. Now, the reason I started using this, honestly, is because I used to use this really drying thing that was bad for my face. I think it was Clean and Clear. And it dried the hell out of my face. I got ingrown hairs and everything from it. One day, my lovely wife came home and she's like, I got you a present. I was like, oh, I'm so excited. She pulled out face wash and I'm like, thanks, you're saying I'm dirty. Come to find out, it actually has worked wonders. I feel cleaner than ever. And I don't have any more ingrowns, which is great. And that's also because of one more thing I do at night, but you gotta wait till the end. Since I started using it, I actually get less acne too, which is great. It balances out my pH levels or something on my face. It's some scientific thing that I just don't know anything about. Step two, clean your damn beard. So with that, I use a product called Gray Before Shave. It's just beard wash. Saw it on Amazon. I mean, I had to pick it up because look how cool that packaging looks. I mean, it's a skeleton, a coffin, and it has a beard. It's great. It has argan oil, so it softens up the beard. I had recently just stopped using it just to see what would happen if it did anything. So for a week, I didn't use it. My beard felt horrible. It was hard, it was raggedy, it was sticking out everywhere. So I started using it again a week later. It's back to being soft and silky and, you know, Vintage or Tacky likes to just pet my beard like you would an animal. First things first, after you wash your face, I use this. It's a Dermalogica Close Shave Oil. It has all kinds of essential oils in it. Tea tree, lavender, citrus, yada, yada, yada. Keeps going on. It's like a list of 15. It works wonders. It may, I've gotten the closest shaves I've gotten in years. And you would, I figured, you know, I'll try it out, but I was scared because putting oil on your face, it could cause breakouts, but it didn't. Put two drops in your hand, you rub it on your face before you shave. Before I use the close shave oil, I use the pre-shave guard from Dermalogica. It kind of looks like a deodorant stick, but you would also rub this on your face before you put your shave cream on. It kind of protects from razor burn. It also gives you a little nutrients for your face to protect from ingrown hairs. So next step is to choose your shave cream. Now you could do a gel based if you want. You can do the Barbasol or what have you in a can. What I do use is the Dermalogica Soothing Shave Cream. It is hyaluronic acid. I said it, I finally got it. It helps hydrate your face. It has shea butter, but I would fuck up the shea butter. Shea butter has jojoba oil. That also helps put a barrier on the skin to help against cut nicks and what it have you when you're shaving. So after you put that on a nice thin layer, you use your razor, shave, 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 what, what have you. Wherever you want to shave, shave. 
Next step is I use my Billy Jealousy Make Your Mark Tattoo Cleaner. It has cucumber extract in it, and I think that helps with discoloration. It also has glycolic acid, which helps exfoliate the dead skin cells on your tattoo. So after you shave and dry off and all that, you have to use an aftershave always. So the one I chose was the Post Shave Balm from Dermalogica. It's a lot of Dermalogica, I know, but I started off by getting a little gift set that had all of it in it, and I just fell in love with it. What this has in it is some salicylic acid and essential oils, which help remove the dense skin cells and, you know, helps heal the skin after you basically tortured it with shaving. The next thing is, is if you get razor burn like I do sometimes because I just decide, I'll shave one more time with this razor, why the hell not? You got to use a, a little razor burn repair, and the one I use is from Shaveworks. It's called the Cool Fix. It's very mentholy and it really burns, but it gets rid of all the red right away. The next step is to put on your sunscreen. Now you always got to put this on because the sun can burn you, it can give you skin cancer, all that jazz. <laughs> if you guys watch Broad City, you know why I just giggled. Cora has told me plenty of times, use your sunscreen. I don't listen. I get sunburned and, you know... It's not fun. I used to use the Dermalogica Daily Defense SPF 15, but I feel like when I got sweaty, it would like come out in the pores and I'd have white little beads on my head and just look bad. So, Cora gave me something from Proactive called Liquid SPF. Now, I've used this a few times and when I sweat, it doesn't beat up or anything. I don't have a white cast or anything like that. It's great. It's very light. I like this one a lot more. It has a little, little shaky ball, which is always fun. If you want a lighter sunscreen, use the Proactive. If you want a heavier one, which I don't know why you would, but I mean, it works. Use the Dermalogica one. This one doesn't feel oily, which I like a lot. It's very light on the face. You don't feel it. You know, which is amazing. So if you have a tattoo like I do, I already sh showed you the product I use to wash it and exfoliate it. Now I'm going to show you the lotion that I use in the ointment. So I picked up a set called Make Your Mark and it came with the wash and also something called Vibrant, which is a bunch of essential oils into a lotion which helps bring out the vibrancy in your colors. It also came with this product called Defined and it's basically A and D ointment which you're supposed to use on your tattoo anyway but we all forget to do it after you know the first week because they say to just use it until it's healed but as you can see it hydrates the tattoo it makes it pop more it's it just makes your tattoo beautiful again. So the next product I use is mustache wax. Now, it seems like an old-fashioned thing to do, but honestly, you got to keep it in place. I mean, I, my mustache, when it gets a little long, it curls up, goes inside my nose. It also picks off to the side. And so you got to have some mustache wax. And the ones I've chose is called Fisticuff. Now, I, have, I bought a three-pack. It comes with just a unscented, and then a lavender one, and then also a bay rum one, which is my by far the favorite. But they all come with tea tree oil, jojoba oil, and also coconut oils, which help hydrate the mustache. It smells really good. It comes with a bunch of essential oils, and also it's made from beeswax, which, help, which helps hold it. But the essential oils help hydrate also, so it doesn't dry it out. After you use your mustache wax, you could either use a beard balm or a beard oil. I suggest using either one of these because they both have essential oils, which helps hydrate your beard even more and also it just keeps it in place. I used to use a product from Gibbs called Voodoo Prince which you know smells amazing but it didn't really hold it in place so Gibbs came out with something called Black Cognac which is amazing it just screws right off it's like a little paste all you do is put a little in your palm rub it around put it in your beard it's amazing it just holds everything in place. It smells good. It's full of essential oils, so it helps soften the beard all day. So after you put your beard balm and mustache wax all over your face, you got to have a brush. Now I picked up this double-sided one. It's a little coarse on one side. It's soft on the other. Just kind of give it a few brushes through, kind of smooth it out, make it look good. You know, you got to kind of impress the ladies out there. 
The last step is your nighttime. Now, everybody knows you wash your face, you brush your teeth, you go to bre bed. You go to bread. You gotta make yourself a sandwich before you go to, bre or to bed. Cora got me turned on to the facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. Now, is it First Aid Beauty? Yeah, it's First Aid Beauty. I was right. I used to get ingrowns on the back of my neck when I got my hair cut because they use a straight razor on my neck. But since I started using these, they exfoliate. They do whatever they do at night. It's great. Now, I'm no scientist. I don't know jack shit about these pads, but I know someone who does. Now, if you want to click in the little link below, I'm pretty sure there's a skincare Sunday on lack uh, glycolic acid and the lactic acid that are in these. All right, that does it. That shows you everything I use on this mug. Now, I am sorry this video was awkward if it was because this is only my second time on camera by myself. The first time, if you want to see it, go ahead and click, 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 you know, so you can check out the awkwardness from the last one, I guess. <laughs> All right, so take it easy, and we will see you on the flip side. Nobody says flip side, Michael. What the fuck?